This time I want to talk about reinforcing timber beams. And there's two types of reinforcements. First of all, we have to ask the question, um, what does not verify? Is it either bending or shear? Or is it compression or tension perpendicular to the grain of the timber beam? And let's start by looking at a bending problem. Like we have our timber beam, it's simply supported. Basically, the first solution is to basically just add a, another beam on top or below the beam. This could be very beneficial in a renovation project, but sometimes you might have space problems. Sometimes you can only add a, another beam from the bottom and sometimes just from the top. Um, and then you, you have to, in this case, it's very important that you actually screw the two beams together so that they act as one beam because you need to transfer the shear between those two elements um, and the, you achieve that um, with screws. And I actually wrote a very detailed structural design guide on how to verify such a double beam um, and I'll leave a link in the video description below to that. Then <clears throat> the second option or like solution would be to basically just add steel beam reinforcement on the sides of the beam. This could be U profiles, it could even be HEB profiles or just like some flat steel um, profiles and yeah, by that you also reinforce it and you increase the bending and shear capacity of, of the beam. Now, the second type of reinforcing a timber beam is for the scenario that the compression perpendicular to its grain doesn't verify. We have that in locations of supports. And the first solution would be to basically increase the support area um, by simply maybe you can lift the, the beam up and put like a steel plate underneath if it's like a existing building if it's like a existing beam and in case that it's a new beam you can just make the plate bigger the other scenario is that you reinforce the beam with screws i just want to leave it that way now i don't want to go into it more in detail but if you want me to write a detailed article about it or make a video about it then then leave a comment below the video 